Hi, I'm Andy from Spike and Z Labs, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build the dice kit. First thing that you do is you dump everything out. The acrylic base that's been tapped, a single diode, four 470 ohm resistors, a 10k and 1 mega ohm resistor, a piezo with leads, tiny PIC microprocessor, the PCB, bag of seven LEDs, CR2032 battery, and then another bag with some acrylic pieces, four screws, and the battery holder. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to start preparing the resistors for installation. Cut the resistors free from their packing tape. Starting here with the four 470 ohm resistors. And what you're going to want to do with each one is take it, bend the leg at a right angle to the body so that it looks just like this. Do that for all four resistors. These resistors are going to be placed into R1, 2, 3, and 4 on the PCB. Locate R1, 2, 3, and 4 and start installing these resistors onto the PCB. They don't have a particular way of going in, however, I like to have the resistors going in the same direction only because it makes it look a little bit prettier. Now that they're all in, turn the board over you can give a little pull on each of the legs very, very gently just to hold them in place while we're going to be soldering. You may want to use a needle nose pliers instead of a clippers. I wasn't exerting too much force. You can see that the resistors are still flush and now we're going to solder. Just touch the tip of the soldering iron right to the leg and then start applying some solder. You'll see the solder fall right into the hole. Do this for each of the resistors. R5 is brown, black, green. We will insert that into R5. Push it all the way through nice and flush. Here, you just pull the legs out just a little bit so it holds it in place. We'll do the same thing with R6 which is the 10K, and get that in as well. It's the only remaining resistor that you have, brown, black, orange. We will prepare the diode in the very same way, clipping off the ends, and we're going to give it a bend, two right angles right up against the body. You'll notice that this part of the diode has a little bit of a black stripe. That black stripe is going to match up with the notch on the PCB, we can see that the notch is on that side, so we will install the diode in the proper way. If you install it the wrong way, this dice kit will not work. Now you're going to want to apply even less time of soldering iron to the diode. It's a lot more fragile than a resistor, so if you see that the soldering isn't going very well, take the soldering iron off, let it cool down, and then solder once again. Check to make sure it's perfectly flush, which it is. Beautiful. And we will snip off the legs. The diode is done. You'll notice that on the LEDs, one leg is longer than the other leg. The longer leg is positive. And if you look on the PCB, you will see that there is a little positive sign right over here. And so the longer leg goes through the hole marked positive. Very simple. If you put them in the wrong way, they won't work. We're going to start by putting this LED in. I'm going to show you how to solder one of them, and then you can install the rest of them on your own. Pushing it all the way down to the bottom. I use a pair of helping hands holding a piece of solder for me. Holding the LED with your finger and pushing sort of hard so that it doesn't come loose because you don't want to install it like that. I'm going to use the helping hands to uh, attach these legs to the PCB. You can see once again I've got the longer leg going through the hole marked positive. It's marked on the bottom as well. And we're going to just get that on there. Now 
unless you're extremely good at soldering with a very steady hand, you're going to want to install this LED last. So it's the LED that's beside the notch on the uh, pick chip location, because right over here, we're going to need to get in there and solder the battery connector. So this LED would be the one that you want to do last. Unless you have super steady hands like me, you can do it at, uh, at any time. Okay, so now that you've got all the LEDs installed, you're going to want to clip the legs as flush as possible. You can prepare the pick chip on a flat surface. You can see how the legs are out a little bit. Just want to push those down so that they're going straight flat. Right angle to the body. If they're off a little bit, it doesn't really matter. It's a very small chip. Very easy to, uh, to correct. Slide it in, matching up the notch on the chip to the notch on the PCB. Now here's the tricky part. You're going to want to solder this on while you're holding it in place so that it doesn't come loose and you end up installing the chip looking like that. But you don't want to be touching the body of the chip uh, while you're touching the legs with the soldering iron because you will burn your finger. Apply a little bit of solder to one of the legs on one end. Just gonna have to hold it in place. Check to make sure the chip hasn't moved. Chip is still in a good spot. Diagonally across, and apply a little bit of solder there to hold that in place. And once we have these two corners on, we can not have to touch it anymore, and we can just solder the rest of the legs. Just making sure that we're nice and as flat as possible. Because the battery connector going on next is going to sit on top of a lot of these connections. Now you'll notice the battery connector has sort of a shape to it with this notch over here. And there's this notch over here. We line the two up, push it through, and we should see these two legs poking up through the logic board. So what we've got to do is we have to solder this point right over here and this point right over here. This one will be easy. This one will be a little bit more difficult because we have to sort of get in at an angle and um, like I said before, you could have saved this LED for the very last, but I'm just going to show you how, if you forget and you put this one on first, how you can get in there with the soldering iron and, uh, and solder that up. So, PCB is sort of sitting on the battery connector and the weight of the PCB is pushing it through. And just in there, careful not to touch the tip or tap any of the LEDs with the hot tip of the soldering iron. Got that one done. Now we're going to do this side. There's two holes, B and R, black and red. Little trick for installing the piezo is take the wire, put it through the appropriate hole, and then we're going to temporarily hold on to the piece of ordinary tape because otherwise that wire is going to slip right out. They're very, very small. Put a nice amount of solder on there. The wire is a lot skinnier than the hole and we sort of want to fill that hole with, uh, with good contact. Careful when you're peeling off the tape. We'll do the same thing with the red wire. You'll notice that one piece has a little bit of a groove etched out of it. This piece is going to go right underneath the connections for the piezo. That groove is there just to allow for the clearance of those wires, so just keep that in mind when you're assembling it. Place your piezo with your adhesive square in the middle of the bottom plate. You can now install the battery, uh, the uh, writing side up. You're going to want to route the wires so that <clears throat> they sort of get collected around the center. Like I wouldn't install it like this, so I can have some wires coming out. So I'm going to install it like this, so the wires are, are busy stretching from one side to the other. And now, find the appropriate piece. Here's the one with the groove. We're going to put the two layers of side up, send the screws through, and we're going to do the same thing for the other side. And now we'll have it work.